Hey guys, Peter Demise coming at you guys. Hey guys, Peter Demise coming at you with another Clash Royale video. And uh, in today's video, we do have a new update coming up soon. So, balance changes. So, we got a few new balance changes that are going to affect us in the game. And unfortunately, I'm a little sad about this one right here Electro Wizard Hit Speed. I love using Electro Wizard. Uh, I use him all the time. Matter of fact, he's in most of my decks. Now, I am trying to create new decks. Um, so this one, so this is my new deck right here. Uh, you're going to see that I actually have a different set of cards. Now you're also going to notice that my uh, trophy level is a lot lower. That's just because I lowered my ranking. So for the clan battle, I can go ahead and easily take three or two crown towers and just kind of milk that to help us out and get the max number of crowns. Now again, if you go to my group, uh, we do have two spots opened up again. We did fill up to 50. I went ahead and kicked the two lowest people out that just weren't contributing or helping us out in any way. Um, so in order to join again, you need 2,000 uh, uh, crowns to go in and get in. But uh, we're going to go ahead and test out this deck. Now, the only thing I like about this deck right now, I don't have enough to just upgrade those fire spirits to, to the level 11. I want those to be level 11 because any level 11 uh, person I face will not be able to one-shot those fire spirits. So they'll be able to get to the tower and do some damage. Um, I would also like my expo to be at least a level 5, but we're going to go with the level 4. We're going to test this deck out, um, see how it does. It should do fairly well since I'm not as high ranked as I usually am. Uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look and we'll see what happens there. So let's go ahead and start, start this matchup, start to find some opponents. Oh, that was pretty quick. Alright here, so what do we got? So the key to this deck, and you're going to notice it's going to be a low elixir deck. It's not so I can go ahead and just, ooh, we didn't actually go for that. I put it way too far. That was a completely messed up on my part. Um, I'm not gonna really use Expo right away. I wanna see what my opponent has. Now, it's clear that he obviously has now a Hog Rider. And he went for a Fireball right there. We're just gonna drop minions back here. See what he does. I'm gonna drop Ice Spirit real fast on the right side. So he has an Executioner. So all we're really trying to do right now, guys, is just get a feel for this guy's deck. That's really it. Nothing more. Just trying to get a feel for the deck. So we're getting some hits off. Drop another frontal tower right here. And we'll drop those guys right behind. And that just ate up that dude real quick. Alright, so we know the hogware is about to come out soon again. So we'll have to wait for that hog rider before I want to go ahead. And this is all this deck really is, guys. It's just a quick cycle deck. Um, nothing more to it. I'm just dropping everything in the back just to get a feel for what he has. So I'm going to drop... Actually, we're going to hold that. I should, have, I should have planned that out a lot sooner. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Hog rider. There we go. Draw it over here. Let that just eat up that hog rider. So now he just dropped the seven elixirs. I dropped nine. So he does have a little bit up on me right now. But I might make my push now for my expo. I want to see where he's going to drop that one dude, but he's not dropping it yet. So we're going to drop this here. We're going to drop uh, skeletons right here. Oh, uh, there we go. So that's what I was hoping to wait for. I wanted that to go quick. And we're going to drop that. Just eat up all that. Oh, he's way too far. I messed that up. Alright, here we go. Take this. This will help us out. There we go. Alright, we're going to drop the expo. We get oh, no. Don't tell me I dropped it too far back. No, rookie mistake. It doesn't matter because he got that guy in anyways. There we go. There we go. And here we go, right here. So, doesn't look like I'm actually going to be able to take him. Unless that expo can get in. No, it's not going to get in in time. I'm going to drop this right here. And that's out. Okay, we got this. We got to lock onto the tower. This is what I was hoping for, guys. We want to lock onto the tower like we just did. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We just won. It's game over. It's game over. 
So that's what I'm going to try to do with this deck right here. Um, I want to get Expo to lock onto that tower. Um, now Expo has a long time before it actually can go up, which makes it a disadvantage for troops like that because it can tank. Okay, so here we go again. Um, I I think I like this deck. It's different. Not many people play with this type of deck. Um, you don't really see Expo anymore. As a matter of fact, when I first started playing this game, Expo used to come out a lot. Like that was one of the main cards you would throw down as a per as a player. But nowadays, most people do not use Expo anymore. So, it's a shock. Ooh. Almost. Almost. She's going to get one shot off. Yep. That's okay. I'm going to drop Fire Spirits on the left. And these guys. A Fireball. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take that trade off. That's a nine. All right, so we're not gonna play our expo just yet. We're gonna keep holding off. We don't want him to know that we have it. All right, so here's a nice wizard. This is why I want like 11, an 11. That's why I really want that 11. All right, this should be able to hopefully take him out. Take it out, take it out. There we go. All right, so we're not really losing any elixir cost. I mean, uh, uh, tower damage, that's good. That's what you kind of want to hope for. Alright, so we're gonna get ready to drop this here now that he dropped that. Drop that there. Drop those there so that way it provides some protection. And there we go. We got some tower damage on that. We got some tower damage on that. Oh, and he still managed to survive that. Oh, that was just beautiful. That was just beautiful. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. That was beautiful. We drop the ice spirit right here. And he dropped that, so we're gonna drop this over here again. This, this. And he's just letting that. He's just letting that. Oh, get on there in time. Perfect. Perfect. That's it. We should win this. This should be game over. Drop those guys there, just out of distraction, just in case. But it's done. It's game. Yes. Okay. So there we go. So this is the main strategy on the Expo deck that I'm, I'm trying to create here. So I've been. I. 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 I at first, when I was playing with this, instead of having Inferno Tower, I had uh, Cannon. However, Cannon didn't play as an effective card uh, for this deck. Uh, it was getting destroyed way too fast, way too easily. Um, this was also, Inferno Tower is really good against air defense for those uh, air pushes, such as like Hot Air Balloon or Lava Hound. And trust me, with Lava Hound and Hot Air Balloon, it's a pain. I mean a pain to get by. Alright guys, so I lagged out right before, um, so I had to like turn off the game. And then by the time I came back in, I lost, so just just wasn't even worth trying. All right, there we go. So we got we got Royal Giant to get focused on this tower right now instead of doing massive damage to my fucking tower. Royal Giants are hard to use for this deck too. Um, so I like to push opposite lane. So since he did some damage here, I like to go opposite lane um, versus them. And why is my... There we go. And that was not what I wanted to happen. So we're going to take some massive damage again. But we're gonna go ahead and push Expo fast on here. Faster than we normally do, just to get this out there. And there we go, we're gonna take some massive damage. But we dropped him below R, so that's good. Um, that's what we wanted. So now we just gotta wait for that World Giant to come back out before we place Inferno Tower down. 
Because World Giant has distance over uh, Inferno Tower. Mm, he's not placing nothing, so I don't know what he's doing over there. Unless he's just waiting for me to purposely put my people down, or he's just giving up. We're just going to go that he's giving up and place that down. See what happens. No, I think he's giving up. Or he, no, he's giving up. So that makes it for an easy win, guys. It's always nice when that happens, right? Go ahead and try to get my uh, X bow. Just keep cycling through my cars and try to get the X bow again. And get a second expo out there. Hopefully it locks onto the first tower, not the second one. Alright, there we go. And from there we're just going to keep cycling. And destroyed. Now this is why I wish that it had freaking uh, uh, level 5 expos. I'd eat through so much quicker. But you can see how massive and how damaging those expos can be once they lock onto those towers. Um, so yeah guys, that's pretty much the new deck I'm trying to create right now. Um, it works pretty well uh, versus the deck that I was originally trying to use, uh, which was a 3.5 elixir cost. This one's actually a 3.0 elixir cost. Um, so it uses a lot less elixir, and the deck that I like to use, the deck that I'm more comfortable with, is this 3.3 .3 elixir cost one. But for those of you guys who have Vlog, uh, this is a great deck to use with it. If not, Zap makes a pretty good um, alternative for it. As a matter of fact, Zap might be slightly better except for Princess. Uh, if you go against Princess, Zap will not kill her. So that's the only issue with Zap. Other than that, uh, Zap can attack both air units and ground units, which makes it probably a little bit better than Log. I just prefer Log better because I don't seem to run into too many people that use Princess. And if they do, uh, my little uh, Ice Spirit and my little uh, Fire Spirits usually can do all the work on, on killing her. So it's not that big of an issue. I recommend using Inferno Tower for this deck. I Again, I only tried Cannon. I haven't really tried anything else like Zap or anything like that. Or Tesla, I mean. Um, I don't know. Maybe Furnace would be a good one to use too if it was higher level up than what I have it right now. Whoops. Let me see what it is. Level 8? Yeah, you're going to need a higher level than that. Probably like a level 9 or 10. Um, but yeah, Furnace, Furnace is another good one. Actually, let me see what Furnace would I actually use. Yeah, see, free, uh, the Fire Spirits are 10. So... You definitely want that to be a, a level 11. That's just like these guys right here, which I'm trying to get up. Just need some more money to do so. Um, but yeah, guys, that's my new deck going on right now. Um, hopefully that can take me to the top, and we'll see where that actually goes. Uh, I'm looking to try to make 4,000 trophies, guys. So wish me luck. This is my deck that I'm going to try to do it with now. Uh, I'm going to play with it more and more and more. If I get that expo, ooh, just need two more. Come on, card shop. Come on, card shop. But yeah, hopefully I get those two more. Um, I would like to actually have that so I can have it on there. Uh, thank you guys, and until next time, Pure Demise, signing off. Yeah.